Hey there, Friendlies, how is up? Uh, it's the day after Christmas, which here in Canada is called Boxing Day, and I am going to do a short little nighttime video for you guys, uh, sort of a compare and contrast in a very serious, sober way, but the differences between an oil burning hurricane lamp and an LED hurricane lamp. So, here are the two lamps in question. So we're going to talk a little bit about the operating systems, I guess, uh, and then quality of light, and then maybe some intangibles. With the traditional one, the oil burner, uh, by the way, this is a foyer hand, but the deets, they all work the same way, even if they don't look exactly the same. What you do, you fill it up to the fill line through the, the cap here with kerosene or whatever lamp oil you like, depending on the smell, I guess, and then you lift up the globe, extend the wick a little bit, light it, drop the globe back down. And then what's happening is kind of a convection thing where hot air comes up and out the top, which then creates, not a vacuum, but it creates sort of a lower pressure system. So cold air comes in from the bottom. And what that's doing is keeping it breathing. Because, you know, triangle of fire, right? You need fuel, you need heat, and you need air. So that's how that one works. All right, and so let's, let's do that. Let's do a little example. A little example burn shall we okay so first off I'm going to raise the wick a little bit you know what I'm gonna open the globe first switch down it's hard to see in the dark eh? okay that's going the wrong way so up we go light a little man Okay, so now using this lever here, I'm going to drop the globe down and we have light and the light is adjustable. You bring the wake up and you're getting a big light, drop it back down. You get something a little more warm. Let's bring up the wick just a bit more here. There we go. So that's how this operates. The way LED works, very different, very modern very simple. All you have to do is essentially throw a switch. So you find the switch with all models. The switch is somewhere usually on the bottom. Turn it on and there you go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So look, you're I'm gonna zoom that in a little bit. These are both very different. The similarities are that they both bring you light um, neither of them are your typical household lamp. They're both camping friendly. Both of them are very good in windy conditions. There's a bit of a breeze. I hope I'm not getting a roar in the mic. Um, but in terms of ease of use, we're definitely talking about LED. You throw it on, make sure it's got batteries in it, and you're good to go. With the oil burner, you're constantly messing around with the length of your wick because it's, it's, it's burning down, right? And you're trimming your wick straight across then take off the little corners and see you're messing around with oil there's a little cleanup to do and stuff none of that is true of LED now in terms of quality of light it's all the oil lamp okay not only am I getting more light out of this but it's a warmer more living light you don't get that with LEDs at all it's a much colder light and those are sort of the intangibles as well as the the amount of light you get. I have to trim this wick, which by the way is an example of it. this takes more care. But I like this light better. I like the primordial effect kind of, of firelight. You know, you're reading on the on the floor next to the fireplace kind of thing, or to one of these. So, which would I choose if I could only have one format? Boom, this one right here, even though there's all the extra upkeep and you're always buying oil. Um, and maybe this isn't so safe for indoors. I, I don't know what kind of fumes this gives off. Whereas with LED, you can put that next to your bed, you know, no problem. You don't have to worry about house burning down. You don't have to worry about gassing yourself as you sleep <laughs> or as you read. All right. And to turn it off, you just turn it all the way down. Whereas this switch so there it is 
that's all she wrote, I think. Um, as I always say, if you like what I'm doing here, then please do the following three things. One, I would love it if you would comment down below. Do you feel that I'm not giving the LED lamp a fair shake? Do you think uh, that maybe that's just the way we should be going in terms of safety? Or do you prefer the light and the old school magic of something like this? Second thing, please share this very serious video as far as you can. That helps me more than you could possibly imagine. So <laughs> the lips are getting cold. It's not even that cold, it's like minus one. Anyways, and the third thing is, please, Give me a smiley thumb. If you don't like what I'm doing, that's not right. Drop me a frowny thumb. Thanks for watching, guys.